Talk Lab. <clears throat> the purpose of this video is to provide basic visual information on how to set up and complete the required Talk Lab for the pre ACE physics class. So, the objective of this lab is to construct a balanced system and demonstrate mathematically using the torque equation. You will identify the fulcrum. You will identify all the forces acting on the system and its moment arm. You will calculate the clockwise and counterclockwise torques to verify the torque equilibrium equation, which states that the sum of all clockwise torque is equal to the sum of all counterclockwise torque. To complete this lab, you need one lab stand, one clamp, two paper clips, and one paper clip with a hook, one spring scale, one midi stick from zero to 100 centimeter, and two weights with different masses. In this lab, we are using with same mass, so we have to make some adjustments. The basic idea about this lab is to balance a meter stick held loose at the center of its, and it's free to move. The combined weights attach, plus the weight of the meter stick, they are all in equilibrium. So in your new lab, you have the materials procedure step by step, and also you have um, three marks that you need to complete. One is the diagram. You need to draw a diagram with all the symbols that you have learning classroom. Um, for example, the fulcrum you are going to represent by this triangle here, and all the forces acting on the system which is perpendicular to its motion is represented by a vector. And you need to also represent the distance where this force is applied to the fulcrum. Here we have A, B, and C, which are all the distance to the fulcrum in centimeter and you have uppercase letters a b c which are all the weights acting on the system in newton and um, you have to complete your data table by the end of this video i will give you more details on how to complete this table and the last part is the data analysis so you are going to calculate the clockwise torque and the counterclockwise torque of the system. If, if your numbers don't match, you need to identify possible reasons that made the contribution for your results. So a couple of terms that we need to review before proceed with this lab. One is the fulcrum. So the fulcrum is the pivot point in which the rotational motion is produced. In this case, it's right here. So if you see the midi stick is being supported by this um, section here that we call the fulcrum, the pivot. The moment arm is the distance between the applied force to the fulcrum. So here we have the weight, which is the applied force. So the moment arm, here is R1, and we have the second one um, with the moment arm of the distance where is applied to the fulcrum, which is called with is labeled R2. The applied force is the perpendicular force to the direction of the motion. The weight um, of an object is also can be considered as a applied force because it's causing a rotational motion. So if you look this weight right here can produce a clock, a, a um, torque in this direction, and the other one in the opposite direction. So that will be force one. This is force two. Also, we need to consider 
the weight of this middle stick. Here is not showing the other half of the middle stick, but because its mass distribution is uniform, so the middle stick weight is located in the center of the mass. So the torque definition is a long one. Is the product of a force perpendicular to the to the rotational motion and the distance from where the force is applied to the fulcrum. So in other words, the torque is the product between the force applied to the distance where the force is there for the application of the force to the fulcrum, which we call moment arm. So it's a product between force and moment arm. So the unit for force is Newton, the unit for moment arm for the SI unit is in meter. So the unit for torque is Newton times meter or Newton meter. Other terms that you are already familiar with, clockwise, we are going to represent by uppercase CW, is the direction of a clock's arrow. Counterclockwise, CCW, is the opposite direction of a clock's arrow. So the sum of all clockwise and counterclockwise torque for a system in equilibrium um, is zero. So in other words, the sum of all clockwise torque are equal to the sum of all counterclockwise torque. Uh, can be stated by this equation, um, uh, in this equation shown here. So the expected equilibrium is when you have your flat middle stick horizontal and parallel to the lab table. So here, if you notice, you have this middle stick with two weights, different masses. Um, and here it should be the fulcrum. And here, this student is trying to, to bring her system in equilibrium. A couple of cool tools that you can use he, you, uh, with your cell phone that can help you with this lab is uh, take a picture of the measurement and um, to record your precise values on your data table and also use your cell phone app, the level, um, to verify that your your middle stick is horizontal and parallel to the lab table. So these are the materials that you need for this lab. Um, my option for this ring clamp is because we have this long section here where we can um, place the middle stick flat so we, we can see the marks in centimeters. We have here two weights of equal masses two paper clips large and one paper clip with a hook and also we have a spring scale up to 500 grams which is ideal for this case the only time that we are going to use this spring scale is to measure the mass of the middle stick which ranges from 80 grams to 110 grams so this mark is the ideal one, and this is the lab stand. So the first thing you are going to do is to measure the mass of the mini stick. So make sure that your spring scale is calibrated at zero, and you attach the paper clip with the hook, and you hold the mini stick with the spring scale so you can look the mass that is marking here, in this case is 100 grams. Next, we're going to place the clamp about in the middle of the lab stand, and that will be your fulcrum, is where your middle stick will be supported and free to rotate. Remember that the middle stick center of mass is at 50 centimeters. Next, you are going to place the middle stick facing centimeter marks up on the clamp to avoid parallax error. Do not place your middle stick on the ring 
the middle stick should be free to rotate. Now you are going to get the paper clip and open in L shape. So the shortest short one you are going to attach to the paper clip on each way. And the longest one you are going to slide the paper clip with the weight across the middle stick on both sides here and on the other side and place the middle stick on the clamp just like it's showing with centimeter facing to you make sure the fulcrum is not around the center of the middle stick between 45 centimeters to 55 centimeters the reason is because both weights are the same if your lab station you have different weights you should not have this problem but it's good to avoid this range to um, have a better experience doing your lab also avoid to place your middle stick which is in the range that you should avoid uh, at 50 because that is the center of the mass of the middle stick Okay, so a brief explanation how to complete the torque lab data table. So first you need to convert um, your mass in grams to kilograms. So to do that, you need to divide by 1000 grams. Now you need to multiply by 9.8. So you have now your mass originally in grams, now convert to newtons. So all three forces acting on your system now you have newtons um, now the moment arm which is a distance you measure in centimeter now we need to convert to meter by divided by 100 and uh, to calculate the torque produced by each of those forces you just need to multiply each force in newton by the distance in meter and then you need to check if this force is producing a clockwise or counterclockwise torque. So when you complete all this table, you are going to use the torque equation and verify if those values are equal. If they are equal, check mark. You did an excellent job in your lab and um, everything was as predicted. If it's not, you need to search the reasons why um, your results led to those numbers. And you have to write all those details on your lab report. So that's all for today. And um, make sure you complete before the deadline and have fun labbing.